everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time, I've been at home working. On this episode, lots of boat jobs, including replacing the halyard, uh, fixing the boom that broke across the Atlantic, and then we go and try and find a beach for that all important chill out. We're back on the boat. We're tired. Very. Bit jet lagged. Um, warm, restless night. But we've got plenty of jobs to keep us going. Boat jobs. <laughs> boat jobs. I forgot how beautiful it is here. Nice and early. 20 past six. However, our body thinks it's what, 20 past 10? Been up since two. <laughs> yeah, been awake since about two, <laughs> on and off. Anyway, we're gonna get on with it. Have the, have the coffee, wake up, and uh, go see customs and immigration because I had to extend my temporary import permit because I stayed on to do the second job offshore. So I need to go and find out what the deal is now um, and book a slot to get her out because I've got big work to do underneath her. So we have the coffee and I'll show you all the goodies I've brought back. <laughs> There's a lot. But the first thing I'm going to show you, a little toy I got. A little drone, a little mini two. So I'll have some fun flying that, get some footage. Um, but I shall show you the suitcase. When I said I bought a few things back with me. I wasn't kidding. So I've got paper suits. They will become apparent in a, some time during the week. Um, this now, I was very lucky on board the ship um, in the sick bay, the, the medic has to sometimes throw away a load of stuff that goes out of date. That could be perfectly fine. And as I've done a medics course, I am trained in some of this stuff I'm going to show you. I'm not just going to randomly start using medical equipment. Got things like burns pack, cannula, suture stitches. So if uh, Maddie or myself gets a nasty, nasty cut, I can sew it up. A load of random bandages, um, this one's quite important, uh, an eye gel, so an, an airway, so an artificial airway. Uh, yeah, just some bits and pieces, some more little airways. Oh, and I can't remember putting my courtesy flags in there. Flapper wheels, flapper discs and sanding discs for The orbital sander, battery powered. However, I couldn't bring the batteries with me because they were over 12 volts, um, they're 18 volt. So I need to go to the hardware shop to get some batteries. Um, that's gonna be for when we pull the boat out, as you shall see later. A bottle of propeller cleaner. However, I couldn't leave it in the actual, <clears throat> in the spray bottle because I worried that it was gonna leak. So I just put it all in just a water bottle, but that's a propeller cleaner in there. So that can go back in there and that's ready for when I take the boat out. In this box, I've got myself a few books, few guides, Caribbean, Virgin Islands. So when we start heading off, I, um, my cloggers, a few bits and pieces for the water maker, some filters, five micron, a couple of carbon filters and some Pickle solution. Um, the water maker is pickled at the moment, so in future, if I need to do it again, I can. This is Maddie's addition. Some solar-powered fairy lights. <laughs> so they're going to go up, hopefully, all around there under the bimini, and uh, make it all cosy. Um, propeller anti-foul, so I can put that on the um, bow thruster and the main propeller. Some bits for my GoPro. Now. Crossing the Atlantic, I don't know if you remember, the end of the boom, the, the preventer ripped off a fitting on the end of my boom. With a little bit of research, I've managed to locate a new boom fitting. So uh, yeah, luckily I've got one of those. So that's gonna be another boat job at some point is fitting that. And a battery charger for um, the orbital that you saw um, and my other new toy this bad boy now there is stuff on top however let me move it so these are the other bits i bought with me load of electrical connection kit um, a new cover for the my outboard because uv's damaged it and it's ripped some bits for anti-fouling some rollers some masking tape um, vernier 
So this is it, this is the one. I've got a, a new angle grinder, battery powered angle grinder. I've got an electric one at home, a plug-in one, but obviously I, I want to be able to, the main reason for this is if I get demasted, I've got bolt croppers. If they're not man enough to do it, then I've got an angle, a battery powered angle grinder. I can just go up and whiz off all of the metal holdings. Um, and just other little bits and pieces, cable ties. Um, yeah, so that's all the toys I brought back with me. What are you doing, Mads? Big important boat job going on. It's the biggest and the most important. <laughs> Another job I've been meaning to do. Well, I say I, I'm not great at sewing. Um, at some point, I got a rip on my nice new spray hood. Um, so, Kenny, the guy who's just repaired the damage on the lazy pack there, um, has said he's going to do it for free. So, I'm going to take this off and. Uh, Nip it up to him. And the last bit was just sliding them, sliding the bottom part out of the rail. And that's it on there. Me and Maddie's gonna fold that up and take it to the sail maker. Right, do the corners. So that's the spray hood off and in the sail makers. Next job on the list. Maddie's very busy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll do all the work. That's fine. You just, <laughs> you just lay there. That's good. I could. Uh, yeah. So next job on the list is to change the main halyard. Um, so <laughs> uh, I've already explained before. Halyards are what take things up and down. So the main sail, which is packed away in here, that gets run up the mast by a halyard. Um, I've had the halyard, well I've had the boat for a couple of years now and there was a couple of points in the halyard just uh, as we get into I think Barbados that I noticed that in the, in, the internal seems like it's come apart. So it's about time that I changed it. So I've had a look on good old YouTube of how to do it. Um, it requires uh, my sail repair kit because I'm going to use needle and um, some cotton from there and what you do marry up the two pieces stitch them together um, and then you pull one out and the other one follows it up goes up through the mast out the top of the mast and uh back down so let's give that a go oh you're just in time the fruit and veg man's coming oh 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 he took that bang on <laughs> Hey buddy, here he comes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've already been to the shop today. We got a papaya. Couple of dollars. Don't know if he's ripping us off, but uh, he's on his jolly way. And I'm getting back to boat jobs. So first thing will be taking the old halyard out of the runners. As you can see, go through this one. Then when it's out of that roller block, it goes up and into the mast there. So I need to make sure that when I sew the end of the new one onto the end of this one, I get it nice and tight, nice and square so that it goes through that little aperture and then out the very top of the mast and back down. It's actually clipped on the back of the boom at the moment. Let's get to it. So 
So there's the finished product. Um, I've given it a really good, nice, strong pull test. Um, what I'm going to do now is just tidy it up with a little bit of tape uh, so it slides over the through the sheath uh, a little better. Here it is. So there goes the join. Okay, that's now going through the aperture, hopefully. That's in. I don't know if you can see, but it's out. You can see the two tones. Here it is. Back down. All that's left to do now is uh, detach the old. So I'm just left with the new. I'll burn the end there and then attach the shackle. Halyard hitch. Just tidy up the end. Good to go. And he's cooking din dins. Hey. And there's the little star fairy lights Maddie put up earlier. On today's agenda is uh changing this fitting Ooh. no Sh okay like i was saying before i just lost half of the pieces in the water this end fitting is going to be replacing this end fitting so what i'm hoping now is that when i take this off i can use some of the parts to put that back together lesson learned always do things inside the cockpit so what i've done so far is i've released my two reef lines so that i could take them off the roller and then later when everyone's awake in the marina so i don't wake them up i start drilling out these old rivets and go to work putting the new one on good news the rollers have come out the old one um, and I've put them already preloaded into the new one what I've done as you can see I've taped it to make sure that they don't come out whilst fitting uh, so the next job now drill out the rivets that's the rivets drilled out so this now should come off starting to come off and then I'll just feed these lines from out and then it's ready for the new one in so far so good so I've got the thread the lines back through the new end fitting offered it up and then drilled through um, open up the, the hole on the actual boom and then drilled through the new cast aluminium fitting so now moment of truth let me grab there you go that's in and ready to be riveted this is the rivet gun i bought from what i can gather on the destructions put the rivet in put that on pushing it should rivet it how riveting Nope. Okay, after a quick trial and error on one, I figured out how this tool works. So put the rivet in, and then you pump it. And that's it. Stem drops out, rivet's in. But I have um, put the top lift back on so this was this top section was the bit that snapped off coming across the Atlantic so that's back where it belongs on its own little uh, own little hole there putting the lines back through um, looked up through the boom untangled there was just a couple crossed over each other so that's nice and tidy going through the boom 
I've put the second reef back through because there was a lot of line. I didn't want to film it and deal with all the line. So what I'm going to do is show you the first reef point. So you can see the uh, pulley there that it needs to go through. So I thread it through that, through there, pull the slack through. This pulley, so as you can see, when the sail goes up, when the sail's up, this reef line will go through that pulley, back down. And if you look under the bottom there, there is a gap through the lazy pack, which this will run down through. through that D-ring, back up the other side, underneath, making sure I go under the cell, and then I just secure it onto itself with a bowline. There you go, reef points back in, all lines back on, pack the sail away, job finished. Next lot of boat jobs, these fittings going through the hole with the cleat, the handle, and that was for a passerelle. Uh, they're leaking, so we're just redoing the leak. Um, I've unbolted this one already. Got Maddie up here, she held it. I've gone down, you can see the sicker flex around the outside. I've just taken the little bolts, the, sorry, the little nuts off here, but they seem to be pretty solid. So I'm gonna go down and give them a bit of gentle persuasion with a hammer. So I'll go down and show you in the tight little sweat box down there exactly what I'm doing. This is the handle. So there's the three bolts and the other side. Let's see if I can get it three bolts. I've taken, taken all the nuts and washers off. So now it's just a little gentle persuasion. Uh-oh. Like this. And I just hope that that one I've just pushed through hasn't jumped and gone into the water. Right, I've had to cut the tube. This is an old tube and it won't come out the end. So I'm gonna have to ditch it after this one. So all I'm gonna do is apply a generous amount of this stuff all the way around. And then what I'll do is as I'm inserting the bolts, I just put a little dab on the threads so I know nothing's gonna get past the threads and then back down into the sweat box. The plan was to have the boat hauled out. That was the plan. The boat was getting hauled out today, but we have got 17, 18 knots of wind, probably gusting into the 20s. I didn't really fancy uh, trying to reverse into the little lift bit. So we've rebooked. We've got about five, four or five more days in the marina till the wind drops. So we are going adventuring today. Where are we going? We are going to a beach on the other side of there. But we have to go all the way around. <laughs> Long old way around, but that's the plan. We're gonna have a chill. We've been very busy. We've been very busy the last few days. Um, so yeah, time for a bit of R&R &R, uh, before the work starts again. really hope you enjoyed this episode it's been fun making it join us next time where i have to dive underneath the warrior before the big haul out we get on with lots of boat jobs to make sure that she has got a nice clean bottom before we launch her thank you so much for watching um, if you enjoyed it please give us a like leave a comment and uh, if you're not already please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell it uh, means a lot to us thank you